Hey guys, what's going on? Today, um, this morning, I'm going to be doing a really quick video on the new Harutagon Dokkan event and the new story event with Tapion. Um, that information has finally been released, and uh, the event is live, so if y'all are wondering, the event and the banner are both live. Uh, the event and the banner are actually both really damn cool. I will not be doing a playthrough tonight. Um, tonight, I'll actually probably start a team building guide if it's available on DokkanBattleBuilder.com. If not, it's alright, and then I will do a card review of all the cards I didn't actually touch upon yesterday because all their translations are, well, now translated. So let's go ahead and just jump into the quick overview of the event. The Dokkan event, the specific Dokkan event, it drops the SSR physical Tapion, so that's where the physical Tapion is available. You can grind it out and you could also feed it into the Tapion that you could possibly get from the banner. We're going to go over the banner in a minute. Stage 2 drops the Awakening Medals. Harutagon will dodge with a super high probability. So he kind of has that Janemba thing going on. Oh, by the way, shout out to the Reddit and shout out to Koala Sanzi for uh, all the information and translations, which is freaking awesome. Thank you. Um, hitting him and lowering his energy level will make him more vulnerable. So he kind of has a Super 17 going on with that part of it. And using the Flute of Tapion will lower his energy level greatly. So you need a Tapion to lower his energy level. So that way when his energy level hits zero, he will not dodge for a certain amount of time. Super high probability doesn't mean 100%. Uh, I don't know what the exact stats are on it, so I can't give you that information, but when I get that information, I'll definitely let you know. Um, the boss types are Stage 1, Strength, Stage 2, and Stage 3 are Agility. So it looks like you can get away with the Monotech team here, because the first stage is usually pretty easy. Uh, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Characters will do more damage against Harutagon. Uh, let's take a look over here and see. Uh, okay, cool. So it looks like all the Tapions. Um, it looks like Great Saiyaman, Waifu, uh, the two Kid Trunkses. Oh, and the Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, which kind of makes sense. Awesome. So you could do that much damage with him, so that, that's pretty legit. I like that. Um, let's see. Oh, and we also have the cards over here. The physical Tapion card information. Uh, let's, actually, oh, let's take a look at it. Physical type, characters, key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%. Not, not that bad. It's not really that great. There's no HP buff there, so he's really cool for like old school events, maybe. Passive skill is own attack 40% up. When HP is 80% or above, he, uh, the extreme type attack and defense 20% down. So, I don't know if that also means your allies or not, that's probably meaning the enemies, extreme type enemies, or maybe just extreme type in general that are on the field, you know, completely. So if you have uh, extreme types on your side, they'll, they'll have that attack and defense decrease. His super attack does supreme damage and lowers, dam uh, lowers attack, which is cool, and links are Courage, Brainiacs, Hero, Experienced Fighters, Rival Duel, and Revival. So Revival, Experienced Fighters, and Brainiacs are like the best attack links, but honestly, Experienced Fighters and Revival will probably be the only two that are really kind of worth mentioning here. Courage isn't so much. Brainiacs does have some good characters in it, um, but it's really hard to get a good team set up with it to base around that link skill. Maybe one day I'll do a, a Brainiacs link skill uh, thing, or a, a link skill video talking about different link skills. Um, <clears throat> story event. It drops uh, this guy. Hold on, let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is the information about the story. There's six stages to the story. Looks like you get a dragon stone for clearing each one. Stage two drops the great Saiyaman. Okay, cool. Uh, stage three drops the Tapion medal. Stage four drops the trunk trunks medals. Stage five drops trunks, and it looks like we have a new flute item over here. I don't know what that is now. I'm gonna actually have to go onto the dbc.space and check that out. Uh, missions, I guess you get the great Saiyaman two. Oh, okay, so all the missions get the great Saiyaman two. So you get all my videls up in here for doing. You have to clear the stage two 40 times. What a pain in the butt. Just to get that Gohan 40, no way, man. I mean, uh, I'm not going to do it on the JP side myself, but uh, when it comes to the global, I definitely will. Clear all stages on Z-Heart, five Z-Swords of each type, that's kind of whack. Uh, five ten-time whites of each type on normal, okay, that's kind of whack too. Use flute item, three dragon stones. Okay, that's cool, that's not bad, just for using a damn item. Clear stage six on Z-Heart with only using super attacks. Wow, interesting. Two times flute of Tapion. And clear stage six without using a support item and continues. Two times flute of Tapion. That's, that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, max super attack level of Great Saiyan Man 2, you get one or more Great Saiyan Man 2. I guess if you want to max her out completely, you need to get everything and then get her uh, super, max super attack level so that we can get all four two paths unlocked of her. Um, I'll do a full review of that in another video so that way we can talk about whether it's actually worth maxing her out or not. Uh, then we have the Tech SR Trunks. Uh, this is the one that drops from the event. Leader type, Tech type, HP attack and defense plus 20% up. So he's a little bit of a, actually he kind of stinks as a leader. He gives a nice stat buff, but it gives no key. Passive attack plus 40% up when doing a super attack and rare chance to crit. That's actually pretty cool. Um, he's only an SR, but giving him that innate ability to crit is pretty cool. Uh, super attack is shining sword attack, extreme damage. 
Uh, links are the Innocents, Money, 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 World Tournament Champion, Rival Duo, Royal Lineage, and Z Fighters. So it looks like World Tournament Champion, he might be available to use against the Hercule event to give you extra drops. Uh, he Doken Awakens into the SSR variant, which is awesome. He looks like he gets a medium chance to crit. So that means if he gives the medium chance to crit, and if you actually feed all dupes into him, if you want to do something like that, it makes it nice. He is a tech type leader, HP attack and defense was 40%. Super attack is supreme damage, and he has the Innocence, Money, 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 World Tournament Champion, Rival Duo, Royal Lineage, and Z Fighters. It's interesting, they didn't give him... They didn't really... Did they give him? No, it looks like they didn't give him any different link skill. That's kind of interesting. Usually when you get a token Awakening, you get a different link skill. Uh, the Great Saiyan Man looks like Super Type is attack 50% up when HP 50% or above. Uh, that's kind of whack. Passive on attack 40% up. Everyone's getting 40% attack buffs. <laughs> and attack 20% up for all Super Type allies. Oh, that's cool. So you can get another. So you get up to 80% up with him. That's not that bad. Supreme Damage and raises attack for three turns. Now, if you guys have been following me, you know I don't like that raises attack for three turns thing. Um, I, if it, if anything, I prefer the six turns, but whatever, what can you do with him? The fact that he, if you're going to run him on a super team, um, he's going to increase his own attack. He's not going to be a primary unit to run, but you can. Uh, Z Fighters, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Patrol Hero, Justice Signature Bow. So if you're missing uh, units, that's he's not going to be a bad unit to run on, like on an Intego Gita team or something like that, or a hero team. Uh, then we have the physical Great Saiyan Man 2. Leader is, oh, cool, look, she does the Peppy Gal category, key plus 2, HP and attack plus 30% up. That's pretty legit. Passive skill, uh, I think um, Khalifa is still better than her, though, for that. Passive skill, own defense 60% up, and all super type allies defense 40% up. So she's really good at making people um, defend. At first, I thought, oh, attack 20% up for all super type allies. I thought it meant... It was 20% up for every super ally. Okay, I'm sorry. So he is an attack buff for all allies. She is a defense buff for all allies. I think I said that last night's video. Maybe I did. Um, regardless, that 40% attack buff is actually really good. 20% um, attack buff is pretty cool too. Um, there are definitely better support units you can do for that. But in terms of defense, there's not a lot of good units that do straight defense buffs. A 40% defense buff on a physical team, that that's actually pretty legit. Um, she could be a really good support unit if you're looking for uh, the defensive buffs anyway. Uh, plus, you, and then think of it, you could actually throw LR, oh, not LR, physical Piccolo up in there, and then you have her as well. Then you're going to be tanking everything. Super attack, Justice Eagle, Supreme Damage, lowers attack. So not only does she uh, increase the defense, she lowers the attack of the enemy. That's awesome. Uh, link skills are Infighter, Battlefield Diva, Patrol Hero, Justice Signature Pose. Unfortunately, they, she gets shafted with Link skills, but it's a, it's a great say, man, so they never really get great Link skills. They need to do like a pose category and have like good members of the Ginyu Force uh, and have them come in. That would be phenomenal. Flute of Tapion item lowers energy level for Rudagon in his Dokkan event by a large amount. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, interesting. So... Yeah, okay, whatever, that's cool. I guess that works for, uh, for his event. I guess it's not a, a major thing, but it's pretty cool. I'm just taking a look, seeing if there's anything else here. Um, well, I did a full character review now, at least the event uh, character, so that's pretty awesome. So I guess I won't have to do that in the next video. Um, <laughs> let's see what else do we have here. We have Harudagon's uh, uh, attack, I guess. We can go ahead and full screen that. There we go. I know it's kind of whack. I don't have the full, full screen, but it's all right. I don't think we need the entire full, full screen on there. So I, I apologize for it being on the right-hand side. But uh, I, I just love the transformation. His attacks are kind of whack, but I like the transformation aspect of it. All right, cool. Yeah, it's in the go. It's in the go. And then <clears throat> his super attack, like I said, it's kind of whack. I'm not a big fan of it. It's just kind of like him. He's powering up on energy ball, and he just shoots it out of his mouth. I mean, he kind of goes Godzilla on shit, so that's cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think the transformation is a little bit better, uh, but it's still a really cool super attack. But the transformation is my favorite part. Uh, let's go over here. I'm on dbc.space, by the way, and we're going to talk about the banner. This is the banner. Um, I will possibly... Let me just actually shrink this a little bit for you guys, so that way you can see it better. Um, right now, you can't see it. There we go. And there we go. So, um... The, the banner here isn't that bad. It's actually pretty good. I like it. It's really funny because these are all like the featured units over here. And we have a... Okay, so we have the two Tapions and we have uh, his... I guess his brother and whoever the heck this guy is. I guess this is the guy who, who tried to break the seal so that way they can unleash him. But it's actually really funny. I don't know why this Goku is here because he is from the Korra movie. Um, I don't mind. I hope he comes on the global side because this is the only Super Saiyan that Goku that I do not have on the global side. I want him and I still have... All of those damn crossover, well, One Piece crossover Super Saiyan Goku's waiting for him. I literally have nine left waiting for him. That's it. I want to feed him into him, and I just don't have him. There's nine taking up my damn box. But it's cool. It actually looks like they took every single movie villain, um, 
well, not every single movie villain, but all the major movie villains. You have Bojack, you have Android 13, you have Korra, uh, or sorry, Meta Korra, then you have regular Korra, uh, and Turles. So you have a decent amount of villain characters. Then you have some random characters like this Gohan, this is from the Korra movie, this is from the Korra movie, this is from the Broly movie. So, like, this Android 18 is from the Broly movie. I don't know what they, why they're just throwing random ones in there. I mean, if they just made this a full villains banner, um, that would be pretty cool. But, uh, well, not a full villains. You can't do that with Tapion. I understand that. But what I'm saying is they threw all the movie villains on there. But I guess they can't really do that with Broly because there's no regular Brolies that you can grab. Uh, but it's a pretty cool banner. I like it. And it has a 20% pull rate and you have a 10% getting of a featured unit. That's really not that bad. Um, it looks like you have the agility and the tech uh, Tapions that you can get. And those are the two primary units you're going to want. Um, if, you know, just for a quick overview, I guess I'll, I will do a full in-depth review of if this banner is worth pulling on or not. Um, just from looking at it, if you don't have any of these units, some of them are really worth it. Uh, this Turles is really good support unit. You're definitely going to want him. Uh, this Intelligence Korra is definitely a good unit as well. Um, 13 and Bojack are kind of whack. They're not really that great. I think the, 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 the 13 is an actual key orb manipulator. So that's not horrible. Uh, changes skill ball to rainbow ball. So I think that's technique to rainbow. So that is not bad. Uh, you can use that for whatever, you know, whatever, whenever you need key orb manipulation. So, yeah, anyway, uh, outside of that, yeah, that's kind of it. The Gohan, I don't ever use. Uh, he, he heals, I guess, uh, after in the middle of a turn if, he, if your HP is below like 30% or something like that. He has 100% heal. Android 18, I keep on telling you, she stinks. She's horrible. This Korra is completely outdated even. His token form is whack. This Goku's cool because he stuns, um, so you can definitely use him as a stunner. That's going to be, he's fun to run on a mono uh, physical team if you don't have anyone else. But honestly, he's so outclassed with all the other units that uh, are available. And these two guys are just are good for collective purposes if you want to collect them. Um, outside of that, yeah, look at this guy. He is not that phenomenal. Let's see, can we do uh, translate? Is there a translate option right now? Translate to English? There we go. Uh, extreme high chance to stun. So he has a high chance to stun, and at HP 50% or higher, he gives himself a flat out boost of 10,000 and defense plus 5,000. That's why he's not that great. And he has Shattering the Limit, um, Prepared for Battle. Z Warriors uh, and Golden Warrior for really good link skills anyway. Z Warriors is cool, but there's not a lot of them. But anyway, yeah, the, ba the banner is pretty legit. I like it. Um, if you like Tapion movie, I would say definitely pull on it. If you're not a big fan of Tapion, there are going to be better banners. But uh, I'll do a full card review um, again, and I'll, when I do the banner review, I'll talk about the two featured units and whether they're worth pulling for or not. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Stay tuned. Tonight I will do that banner review and study did most of the cards that are going to be dropping. Um, I won't have to do all of that, but um, I will definitely talk about the cards, which ones are good, which ones are not, um, and the banner review for sure. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.